News right now, the Iowa Senate is currently debating a bill that would cap the amount of money victims of medical malpractice can receive for pain and suffering. The House approved the controversial bill, their version, in the last hour that limits damages to $1 million or $2 million if the case involves hospital. KCCI chief political reporter Amanda Rooker has the emotional arguments from people on both sides. Steve, this is an issue that the governor has been trying to get past for years, and this bill just passed the House, as you mentioned, on a very close vote. It was 53 to 45. Now, Representative Ann Meyer was the lead House Republican on this. She mentioned on the floor that she understands that there is no amount of money that can bring a life back because her own son died because of medical malpractice. But she argues that this bill is necessary to keep Iowa's medical system intact and hospitals protected from unlimited penalties. But opponents of this bill share their own emotional stories of losing loved ones to medical malpractice and argue this bill will hurt those victims who've already experienced immeasurable pain and suffering. It led to a very tense moment on the House floor. Take a listen. We do have an obligation as a legislature to make sure our health care system is intact. What this do is you not the, about the value you, of life. Explain to me the $1 million cap if that's not a value on a life. Stability to the market. That's what I call. That's awfully cold. Awfully cold. Yes. Stability of the market I'm... when your child is dead, that is cold. A very tense moment there on the House floor. Lawmakers continued to debate for hours. Ultimately, the House did move this bill forward. The Senate is still debating. Earlier this morning, I talked to a retired Marine who's originally from Iowa, but he now lives in North Carolina after a medical mistake left him paralyzed. He flew to Iowa to beg lawmakers right. to make uh, to change their minds because he calls this cap unjust and says it hurts victims of medical malpractice like him. I became permanently and totally disabled and catastrophically disabled, unable to work, unable to make a living. I don't want anyone else to deal with this. But when you do, and if it happens to you, the million dollar non-economic cap that's proposed, it's, it's nowhere close to where it needs to be.